any form of pain you experience that is not trauma, like you've been hit by an external thing, it means that it's something that has been developing over time. Absolutely. And, uh, 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 sour, sour. That's very well explained. Then you've explained uh, what the definition of a healthy person, right? Yes. How does a person stay healthy? Come away, oh, Sasa. Okay. Away. So let's, let's finish then. Let's finish our discussion then. So, <clears throat> what you, so what we can say from this, what you have explained here, yes. is that feeling good is not equal to good health. Feeling good is not equal to good health. But good health is equal to healthy function. function. Yes. So what is good health? Like, unajua, when you I want to give you the good health. Good health example is, as I said, to get an Aishak's question, Yes. <laughs> so you will not have that issue. That is your healthy. That means your health. If you're able to do a squat, a squat is a complex movement and has many, many, it's like a, it's a whole body moves. So whenever you can be able to squat without a pain, then chances are you have no pain in your body. Okay. Chances are you have no pain. Because so squatting is personal health checkup. And every child, if you look at all small kids, what, how do they spend most of the time? They spend their time squatted, isn't it? Yes. But how many adults spend time squatted? <laughs> you are yeah. not on TikTok, see you? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that's yeah. the one. Uh -huh. number, number two, another way to know you're healthy, you should never know you have a stomach here. You know, like yeah. your stomach should not talk to you. That is to make up and say, <laughs> that is not healthy. Your stomach should never be known it exists here. Uh -huh. If it talks to you, that is not good. Something is off. Your health, uh -huh. your function of the gut, question mark. Okay. It is not painful. It is nothing. But if you don't address it, you will one day. Okay. Okay. Another example of a healthy, healthy function is you're able to sleep your eight hours. Apoqua food, yeah, your stomach should not talk to you. Is it universal or there are exclusive, um, or there are exceptions, like eating beans? <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody should not, know, should not know your stomach is there. Everybody should not know their stomach so, is there. So uh, when you're healthy, like 100%, uh, even beans is not like nuclear things? No, it should not give you problems. Those are legumes. Remember, legumes are good for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sour, sour? Yeah. So, um, so this goes to what you eat. When you talk to people now about uh, eating healthy, almost everything is processed. Yeah, but can you stay healthy <coughs> on processed foods? No. Under whatever circumstances, can never be healthy. That's why it's called processed. Okay. You need to eat organic. So if you can't eat organic, it's killing you softly. Pole pole too. Pole pole. You need as much as possible to eat what you ate growing up in the village. That is healthy what food. If you, uh, For example, I'm giving an example. My friend YY has this theory. Yes. Yeah, anasemanga, ati, people threaten you at, oh, don't eat prof, uh, processed foods. Oh, CG, don't eat fries. Uh, CG, you see how America is suffering. Alafu, when you travel to America, unapata mzungu mze. Like, how did they grow old if it's that dangerous? Let's look at the history of junk food. When, if, if, if you had to look at just the history of junk food, come back to Kenya, all right? Which is the oldest junk food store in Kenya? Oldest junk store? Yes. I don't do junk, imagine. No, the oldest food in junk is, well, is chicken in, right? I chicken. think chicken in, chicken in is the oldest junk food in Kenya. Uh -huh. When did it come? It is upper 2000. Isn't it? Almost How upper 2000. How do you know that information and you don't eat junk? At a <laughs> yeah, because I do my research. Okay. If I have to come and talk to people, mm -hmm. if I have to come and explain to people, I have yeah. to have done my research. So, so let's also go to America, all right? Yeah. Maybe junk food is 40 years old. We're together. Mm -hmm. So there's a population of our grand, uh, grandparents and our parents, our mothers and fathers, who still lived in America but did not eat a lot of junk. All right? That is, they are there. Yeah. And then now, kuna sisi sasa, ambao ni junk pros. Unona? Yes. So I want you to show me somebody our age who is a junk pro who is healthy. 
even in Latin America. Okay. Sawa. So, uh, in terms, you, you, you have a very wonderful initiative on uh, spine. Yes. Spine health. Yes. Please tell us about that. Um, this, 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 this month, on the 16th of October, we celebrate the World Spine Day. The World Spine Day started around the year 2000, 2008. It was started by uh, the World Federation of Chiropractic. And it was started to help uh, to, with a campaign of, uh, uh, of, of joint, it's called a um, bone and joint decade, in the sense that how can we start <coughs> reducing or em eliminating skeletal and, spine, and, and the spine pain, okay? So we started a campaign because a lot of us, a lot of people today, are about a million people, I mean a billion people today, at one point in their life suffer from back pain. So, and back pain is the biggest source of disability in the globe. Back pain is the biggest source of disability. Yes, more than cancer, more than hypertension, more than HIV, more than any other disease you can talk about. It's the biggest cause of disability. Why? Because it, it impacts on the one disease that is the most dangerous disease for humanity, which is mobility. When you're aging and you lose mobility, you're as good as dead. Why? All of us, we have that personal time, personal, you, you like that privacy. But if you have gone to, you need to be on a diaper. If you need to be on a diaper, you're on a helper 24 seven, you have no life, you have no dignity, you have no sense of privacy. And what happens over time, Mentally, it destroys you because, you know, as much as it doesn't matter how much money you have, it doesn't matter how good helpers you have, the moment you have to call for everything for someone to do, at one point, it slowly eats you inside, pole pole. When you're in a diaper, I want to quote that. Yes. When you're in a diaper, you are useless. No, you're not useless. You are. You, you feel are. useless. You f or you feel useless. Yes. Uh, there is a few things, Mesema feel useless, uh, uh, you, you can't help anything, can't, yes, you, can't you just help call yourself. for attention. Yes, and as human beings, we all have pride. It doesn't okay. matter how much money you have, yeah. but we all have pride. But and we can... all have time for privacy. You mm. want your own privacy. Mm. You know, you, you but okay. when you are now have to get help from another person, you don't have that simple privacy that you may enjoy. You may go to the bathroom and you're showering and you're like, oh, you can do that. You cannot no longer do that when somebody is showering you. You know, those are small, they may look very small, but they are fundamental, they are key in how your brain works, in how emotionally you, 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 you face life. You These people me. will show us strong. They look strong to us. They look good. But deep down, they are broken. You got me at um, the features of someone in a diaper. Yes. I think which explains why people, why some people hate children. And I think... That's a very scientific explanation that will explain a lot of things. The people who but, fear, yeah. But, but then uh, we, we go to um, Sawa. How do you stop yourself from getting to that place in the world that we live in today? Absolutely. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's why we created the human garage. We created the human garage <clears throat> for this reason. People need to understand that modern medicine is absolutely important. But... Modern medicine, the way it is now, it is there to be a bridge. What does that mean? A bridge for you, for it to help you cross an emergency situation. For example, car accident. For example, a pneumonia attack. For example, um, a knife stab. Whatever, whatever emergency you would get that requires, em excuse me, emergency attention, you absolutely need to see a medical doctor okay but after the doctor has helped you cross the bridge to this other side you need to do whatever it takes whatever it takes to restore that that made you sick which is function you need to restore the function that you have lost in that made you get sick so that you can help your body to function better so that next day next year next month whatever your body does not fall uh, that does not fall back to what to illness. It is able to cope with whatever will, will manufacture. If you don't do that and all you're doing is popping drugs, what you will do is very simple. This is the, this is the bridge, this is the river, this is you. So you go to see the doctor for the first time you have an emergency, the doctor helps you cross. 
when the doctor has helped you cross, the doctor tells you you need to improve your lifestyle, right? Or tell you to do something about exercise. Of course, you're not told what to do, but you're told to exercise. Once you have crossed here and you don't do anything, because most of us also want everything, the doctor to do everything for us, you just take the medication, it finishes. Oh, the doctor, I'm back in pain. You go to the doctor, the doctor gives you another higher dose of pain and more and more drugs and then he crosses you back here now you have a second type of drug when you have a second type of drug and you take it for a long time these two drugs will have a side effect on you right they will start affecting your body in a way so you feel better for some time then you'll go back here doctor i'm sick now i come to see you again and now i saw you at a and d you know as an accident and emergency as a general practitioner you'll be like okay now whatever you're presenting in is not in my loan i need to send it to a specialist so we we'll send you to a consultant orthopedic surgeon a consultant neurosurgeon a consultant gastroenterologist any any consultant and the doctor again will help you do what cross the bridge but when you cross the bridge if you don't do anything you're going to come back where and now when every time you cross the bridge and come back the drug number does what goes up goes up that's why today Today, most of our parents, most of us who are unwell, are taking 15, 20 tablets in the morning. It's like you're having kiveri party in the morning. You shouldn't do that. You know? <laughs> kiveri of tablets. Yes, that's uh, what happens. <laughs> Sawa, before we let you go, two things. <clears throat> to Malizie, uh, you, had a, you, you came with someone's spinal cord. You? Yes. Uh, explain to us uh, how to pro prevent uh, spine problems. Uh, explain to us why ulcers is incurable or not. Uh, and explain to us acidity. I'll have to watch it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll use... I have to go back to the feet and then go back to the spine. Mm -hmm. Just in a second. You see here, if I said there are red flags of the feet, most of us may not understand. You, but if you look at this, I'm sure we have a lot of you in the audience who have one of these, which is foot flare, neon andaga squembe, Kuna internal nikno, nokni. Kuna ile unakanyaga, unawana mtu wamekanyaga, lakini hii, 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 nini, ni kama ime, ime bend on the side. Na, kuna, ile anakanyaga flat foot. But kwa flat foot hapa, we need to be careful. There are people who are flat foot, but they are functional healthy. But there are people who are functional, flat foot, are not healthy. So we need to be careful on that. And then, <clears throat> we have people who shoes will wear uneven, will wear out uneven. So whenever this, any of these red flags happen, this is what happens to your foot. It rotates, it rotates in on the foot, it rotates in on the knee, it rotates in on the back, it will drop one shoulder. So unawanaga watu wengi kiumambia mtu wapige picha? Unawanaga. Hame piga picha lakini yako hivi? Yes, it's work. No. Hata ukiumambia si mame hivi, utahudi mwone yako hivi. But you see na kuanga kupop hips, ndiyo? I thought. Okay, that's mm -hmm. one way. So, yeah. <clears throat> if we can help change this, we, and yes. we change our biomechanics, we'll change our spine. Why would that be possible? That would be possible because from this diagram here, from this diagram here, it's just showing a fascia, a fascia connection. You can see how if the fascia starts from here, yeah. To here, and let's say you have an injury in the foot. For example, you have an injury here. Yes. You can have shoulder pain. Okay. Okay. You can have you can have an injury here, and you have menstrual pain. You okay. can have you can have C-section here, here, and have backache here. Okay. All right. So, whenever a patient comes or comes, goes to be assessed. It is, it is it, and especially for backache and musculoskeletal condition, it's, it's paramount not to just to look at the site of pain. Because there's a professor, he's a neurosurgeon, he's late now, Professor Lewitt. Professor Lewitt said this. <clears throat> the doctor who chases pain, he and his patient are lost. All right, why? Because where you feel pain is not where it is. And I want someone who can prove to, can show me that it's here I feel pain and where I it is. I would love to see someone who can show me that. You know, where it hurts is not where it is. You can have a lot of pain in the knee, but the, fro the problem, it's in the foot. You can have a lot of pain in the knee, but the problem, it's in the back. You can have a lot of problem in the knee, but you had a fracture in primary school in your hand. And that can still be cause of your pain. So okay. it is good when you're... Uh, and that, this is the difference, and that's why I said now, 
when uh, modern medicine is key to help you cross the bridge because you go to them when that knee it's swollen it's very painful you cannot do anything with it they need to do what okay bring the pain down okay. what would they do they would aspirate reduce the amount of the fluid give you some painkiller and you feel like you're feeling better but they have they treated the problem no okay that's number one. Mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> so understanding the connection of the foot is very important. So how do you get healthy? I tell people that health is free, absolutely free. When God put us in the world, he gave us uh, life to be enjoyed freely and maximally. But yeah. we have shifted from that. And let me take you through it. These, 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 we talked, uh, at one point we had a discussion about the blue zone. Let's go back, let's go to those things and see what, what, what different things they would be, be able to do. One of the things that you find most people, they would be living in highlands, like in a hilly area, yes. mountainous area, okay? One thing they do, they do a lot of physical work. They also do a lot of barefoot. Okay. Okay? They do a lot of physical work, so their skeleton is always is moving, and they work barefoot. So they ground, they get the benefit of grounding, they get the benefit of walking barefoot, so they don't develop a lot of stiffness, like me and you who spend a lot of days seated. That's number one. Number two, these people, they are in mountainous. They drink a lot of water. Right? They drink a lot of water. Sindio? The, if we only can drink water, all of us, if we can drink enough water, we would dis discharge maybe 60% of the people admitted in hospital. Because 60% of people admitted in hospital have complications of acidity, constip uh, constipation, name it. They are dehydrated. That's why when you go to hospital, the biggest selling thing is drips. Everybody is on a drip. So, in short, water is medicine. Absolutely. Absolutely. And for water, this is what I want to I wanna, I wanna add for water. People drink a lot of, people drink water, a lot of people drink water with lemons, you with water in the morning. You don't need to do that. That is not normal. It's Just not a way, water. it is not a normal way of drinking water. You don't wake up in the morning and you, I mean, you, you never grew up when you're growing up and your mother says, okay, what are you doing? No. Okay. Right? Just drink water. Yeah, drink water. It's natural but element. now, because of all the contamination that we have had in, the, in, in, in our environment, this is what I advise people. You take what we call Tao water. Tao, Taoism is a philosophy in Chinese medicine. Taoism, so Tao water. Or there's a, Tao and there's Tao. Yes, yes, of course. Of course absolutely. Tao water is nothing serious. <laughs> it's very easy. It's hot boiled water and cold water. Then mix them equally in a glass and you take that every morning. It will change your gut. It will cost you absolutely nothing, but it will change your gut. Gas, gas, constipation, it will change. Acidity, it will change. Um, but, but I'm not saying you drink today and then tomorrow you think all those other things are gone. It's a lifestyle change. Okay. So barefoot, water, sleep. Sleep. We don't, we, we, have, not, we have not valued the power of sleep, but you need to remember, sleep ages a man by a decade. Anybody who sleeps less than four hours in a day, you are playing with heart attack. It's like, Mnachadiana to Evi. Yes, you are playing with heart attack. And you continue, you can take it to the bank, something will happen. And you will not like it. And sleep, in this case, just for clarification, is lying down, closing your eyes. <laughs> not and sleeping. Not only closing the eyes, but falling asleep that you don't know where you are. That you don't hear anything or know. You fall into the deepest rain. Alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay? Yeah. The next thing is fasting. Fasting. All of us are so used to eating like rabbits. All the time we are eating, we are eating, we are eating, we are eating. No, the body needs a break. You know? We need to create time that we have to starve our body so that, so that the body can also burn and utilize whatever you have, all this energy that you have been storing over time. If you don't do that, you keep on adding mafuta. That's why we are all getting fat. You know? If you look at all these people who live in this, what you call the blue, zone, blue zones, are very skinny people because of the physical work they do, because of all these things they do that helps uh, maximize their metabolism. Uh, the next thing that you do is silence. Silence. Meditation. Silence is meditation. How many people here can be silent for two minutes? <laughs> it is no, so silence, simple. Si silence uh, in the world of today, uh, for them to understand, it's called ghosting. No, no, no. It's not that. It's, not that. <laughs> it's to be silent, that you can keep your phone away. You can put your phone away, and you can just concentrate and center and focus on you. 
For example, you may focus on, 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 on this camera and you look into that camera and by the 20th second, you can see, you know, your imagination, imagine a rat. You can see a rat coming out of the camera and going back, coming out of the camera and going back. If, if you cannot be able to silence your body that much, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what meditation is all about. You need to be able to focus on something and whatever you focus on it, it needs to see it. So if you focus on that camera and you, you, see, you say, okay, I want to see a rat. In 20 <laughs> uh, seconds. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Uh, because they, when, when I've started meditating with a rat going and coming back, <laughs> yes. now nah, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, yes. Okay. So yeah. silence. And Silence here is also um, for us to switch off our phone at night. You know, people don't switch off their phone at night. It's here. It's here. If I break it, I sit on the The blue light we know is not good for us. We all know that. So we need to be able. And to, if, <laughs> if you're not a firefighter, <laughs> you're not an emergency doc, um, emergency uh, uh, emergency care doctor. Mm -hmm. You should be able to switch off your phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, from there, we have, uh, fr from there, the, the next thing is cold shower. Yeah, cold shower can sound like. You set me up with that one. You set me up with that one. It's yes. not for everybody. It in a you. It is for everybody, if you're willing to do it. You know, everything has. To, there's nothing in this world that is easy. Let's first of all agree that there's nothing in this world is easy. Even being healthy is not easy. It's work, and you work from birth to death, whether you like it or not. So you choose your heart. You choose, you choose, yes, exactly. You choose, you choose. 